All right, makeup geeks, it is fall season. And with that, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products for fall. I don't know what it is about the season. It's my favorite for makeup because I feel like you could wear vampy lip colors and lots of really rich kind of luxurious feeling eyeshadows. So with that, I have a list of my favorite products. Some of these are staple items. Some of them are new things that I found recently that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm gonna jump right in. We are gonna start with the lip products first so I can apply it for you guys. But this is a classic but a goodie. It is the MAC Lip Liner in Vino. It is such a gorgeous, just rich berry plum color that I use on a regular basis in fall because it goes with so many different lipsticks. I'm just going to stop blabbing and apply it. It's pretty. <laughs> I know it looks crazy with just lip liner on, but do you see how it's just a true rich berry color? It goes with every sort of lipstick and it just lines the lip really well. And I always love MAC's formula for their lip liner. So that's a favorite. It's $19 for this one and you can get it on MAC's site or I think Ulta has it too. Next lip product I have is a new one for me. I think they just launched this. It's by NARS. It's their Afterglow Lip Balm. It looks like this. Isn't the packaging pretty? It's like this deep berry metallic color. It's so pretty. I love NARS lips. I always have. But this formula in particular, it's a light tint. It kind of reminds me of the Clinique Black Cherry one that everyone's raving about on TikTok. I like this one actually a little bit better. Don't hate me, you guys. Don't hate me. So let me just apply it so you all can see. But it just gives a nice berry hint to the lips. So if you're, if you're afraid of wearing a strong lip color, I would say definitely start with something like this because it gives you the feeling of a deep berry lip but it's not overpowering or strong because it's just a light pigmentation like isn't that pretty and it's so comfortable it's not sticky it's not drying it has just a slight sheen to it so it gives you a nice full looking lip it is my favorite 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 lip product right now I am obsessed with them love it so much it is a little bit pricey for a lip it's $28 for me I feel like it's worth it because I'm gonna wear this a lot and get my money's worth out of it and it's just beautiful packaging it feels very luxurious next one is a new one for me too I don't know how long these have been out I think it's pretty recently, but YSL has these slim matte lipsticks. Now for a while I was like, oh, matte lipsticks. I feel like that's so old trend. Like, what is going on with my, my little shaw here? Just will not stay up. I feel like I'm stripping for you guys. But this color I had to have because I was looking for a deep red. I'm not gonna put it on because I, I love my lip balm that I have on right now. But let me show you a swatch of it. This is color number 18, but look how richly pigmented it is. It's a very comfortable matte. So if you don't like liquid lipsticks, but you still want a matte finish, I like this one a lot. You know, there is a little bit of transfer there, so it's not like a liquid lip, but it does have lasting power. For me, it lasted six hours, which for a matte lip is a really long time. So I do love the formula. That is a pricey sucker though. That is $39. That's a pricey lip. Would I buy more of these? Not sure, but I did like this shade in specific. Okay, another lip balm that I found, and I will actually wear this one for you guys. I'll just wipe this off. My towel is clean, I promise. So Almay has these lip balms and I found this on accident. I was at the drugstore and I just needed something in a hurry that would hydrate my lips. And I was like, ooh, that looks like a pretty color. I actually don't buy a lot of Almay products, but this has become my favorite one. I don't know if you guys can tell how jacked up it is on here, but I've worn it so much. Like I swear it's probably gonna run out soon. I've worn it every day because it's just so comfortable and hydrating. It just makes my lips feel nice. It's almost like a lip treatment. Um, The color that I have is number 70. It's just a gorgeous nudie brown color. It feels like a very 90s noon. Let me stop laughing and just apply it. It's just a great everyday color. So you can wear this all year round, not just in fall. It has a slight vanilla flavor to it. It's not overpowering or anything like, uh, like that, but the formula is really nice. It's just really comfortable. And I love that color. It's like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip balm. It's just... I love this so much. Oh, and the best part of that, it's $12. You can get it at any drugstore. I've seen it actually on sale cheaper than that. So go get you some of those. And then the last lip product, let me wipe this off again, is a staple. It's an oldie, but a goodie. It is the NYX Butter Glosses. This color is my favorite, the Ginger Snap one. It looks kind of brown in the tube. For whatever reason, I think people don't buy it because they're like, oh, that looks like a dark brown. It's really not. It's really pretty. Let me just show you the color. These are five bucks too. I think I got it at Target. It's just a deep, deep nude color. It's so pretty. I love this a lot. You guys notice when I put lips on, I always close one eye. I have no idea what that's about. I look like a pirate whenever I put lips on. Arrgh, midi. What is that? <laughs> Anyways, isn't that a gorgeous color? It's so comfortable. It's hydrating. It's not tacky. It's not sticky. And it's five bucks. You cannot beat that. So love, love, love that color. Then I discovered this new blush duo by Cover FX. It has a beautiful fall color. I put this in my fall favorites because I did like this color for fall. I felt like it's really beautiful. It's the warm honey one. Let me swatch it for you all so you can see. Isn't that gorgeous? So one side is shimmery, one is matte. They have buildable pigmentation, so it looks very natural on the skin. Let me apply it so you guys can see. So I like using the um, angled stippling brush. You guys know it's my favorite brush of all time. 
So I've been applying it kind of back up in here. It just gives me this really warm, rosy flesh color to the cheeks that just, it feels like fall to me. I can't explain why, I just love this color. And I like the formula a lot too, like isn't that gorgeous? And then I top it with a little bit of the shimmery side. Um, let me take a different brush. So I take it something like this and I just kind of dust it up here. So pretty, it just gives like a nice flesh glow to the skin, love that. Oh, and this is $38 and you can get it at Ulta. And they have a few different colors, but my favorite was definitely this one, the Warm Honey. Now let's get into the eyeshadow palettes because that tends to be our favorite. So Makeup Geek has a Fall Scenes palette that just came out. It has a few new foils in there that we just brought back. Um, It has Magic Act, Untamed, and Curtain Call. And then the mattes in here, Had Me At Yellow, Honey Badger, Brick House, Deja Brew, Berry Shady, and Give Me The Dirt. They're all just really richly saturated, gorgeous fall shades. Like, this is probably my favorite palette that we've put together in a really long time just because it's very wearable for everyday look but you could also vamp it up for just a very glamorous look. It just has really rich fall shades which I absolutely love. If you guys want to see a video on that I did seven looks using this palette so if you want inspiration of how to use it multiple times over I'll link to that too for you guys. Um, but it's $38. It has nine full-size shades. They're all made in the U.S. They're all ethically made, cruelty-free, reusable so it's eco-friendly. Love this. I've, I've tried Truly on my own. I'm not just saying this because it's our product, but I've been wearing this on the daily since we put this together and I love this so much. I'm definitely going to keep this as is and wear it all year round because it's become my new favorite. So um, the other palette I wanted to show you, I this got so much hype and everyone was talking about it. I was like, well, geez, let me go try this. And I was actually really glad that I did because it's really, really pretty. So I got the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And what I noticed, you guys, I don't know if they did this on other palettes, but they have holes on the back. I don't have a lot of Natasha palettes, but I thought that was kind of cool because I'm like, can you pop these out? Let me try it. These suckers pop out. Hold on. Okay, I think I lied, you guys. I don't know why there's holes in the back of it. But anyways, it is a gorgeous palette. I love the rich berry tones in there. I'll put up the swatches here for you guys so you could see what they look like on the skin. But I love the metallics in here. I think they're just really pretty. They remind me of our foils that we have. And the mattes too are just really pretty. They're really saturated. They glide on smoothly. I like that it's made in Europe. Europe has some amazing labs and manufacturers there, so I know that it's made at a really great place, which I love. I just think it's a good balance between like some rich pigmented shades, but also some wearable. Like I feel like this is so versatile. You could vamp it up to be very glamorous, very fun, but you could also wear it for every day. So I think she did a great job. This is probably the one palette from this brand that I've been really excited about. I think they did a good job, and I love the sleek kind of metal casing here. I think it's just a great well-rounded palette so love that oh and the price of that is $65 and I got it at Sephora okay the next one is a blush I forgot to talk about this one it was the one I was wearing earlier today you guys so you guys know that my favorite makeup geek blush is bliss I wear it all the time it's like a peachy color actually let me show you this is the one you could tell it's beat to hell so this is the one I usually wear, but I've been loving blushes lately and I've been liking deeper tones. So this one here is Covet. Normally it's meant for like medium to caramel skin. I obviously have more fair skin, but I feel like when I put this on with a light hand, it looks so beautiful. Like It's just a really rich rosy color like that. Do you see how pretty that is? And it's just really smooth. I do like our formula a lot. So that's the color. It's like a deep apricot. So it would work definitely on a variety of skin tones if you have fair skin skin, apply it with a light hand, which I'll show you. Um, and then if you have caramel skin, apply it as normal. And then deep skin, I'll put on the tops of the cheekbones just to add some richness and warmth to the cheeks. It's so pretty. So I usually take it with a brush like this, something really fluffy. I tap it on the back of my hand once just so there's not a lot of pigmentation just because my skin is fair. And then let's do this side. I just apply it here. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the one compared to Cover FX. Hold on, let me swatch them side by side so you guys can see. Okay, so there's the difference. This is Covet from Makeup Geek. This is the Cover FX one. It's a little bit more rosy and a little bit deeper. But it's just so pretty. I'm really into these kind of mauve deep rosy tones right now. I just feel like it's so flattering, especially for this time of year. So love that so much. If you want just the pan like I showed you, that one's $9. If you want it in a compact, it's $14. So I'll link to that below for you guys too. But that is probably my favorite blush I've been wearing a lot lately. And then for skin, I just got this Lancome concealer that is 
amazing. And I will say I have not bought a concealer in a long time because I've been so traumatized of all the concealers that came out lately that were super thick and cakey and heavy. Like don't even get me started on that shape tape that everyone was talking about. I got it. I was like, oh no. Like I emphasized all my lines. It was thick. It was heavy. I just hated it. So I kind of got traumatized. So for the last couple years, I was not buying any concealers. And then I saw this one. I was like, oh, let me try it. It is beautiful. So the color that I'm using right now is number BIS. It's the warm. I don't know. I'll link it below, but it's this color here. <laughs> so what I like about this one is it has this kind of big doe foot one. So it's really easy to apply. So let me apply a little bit. I know I have my foundation and stuff on, but I, I want to kind of highlight under here. So it's really pigmented, but it's not thick. It glides really well and it doesn't look heavy on my skin at all. So what I've been doing is just taking a damp sponge and kind of blending it out. Why is that looking so bright on camera? Okay, there we go. I know it's a little bit bright. I probably should go one shade darker, but the formula is so beautiful. Like look how it's sitting on my skin. And you all, I've been filming all day. I've had powder and foundation and more powder. There's a lot of layers going on right now. And this still glides on top. It doesn't get cakey. It doesn't pull up. It doesn't get too thick. It just looks like beautiful skin. This is Definitely my favorite concealer. I've tried in a really, really lot, like years, you guys. It comes in 20 different colors. Um, the price of it is $29, so it is a little pricey, but I do feel like a little goes a long way. I've used it many times since I bought it. You can't even tell that it's used at all. And I'm telling you, the formula is beautiful, especially for me, I'm over 40, like it's amazing. So that is pretty much it for all of my fall favorites for this year. I love all this so much and I feel like, I don't know, right now I'm like really loving applying makeup. For like the last couple years it was kind of like mwah, mwah. I just didn't, I don't know, I wasn't excited to put makeup on now but now that it's fall and we're going outside a little bit more now I'm like, I'm really excited to wear makeup and I love all these products. Why am I so winded? I feel like I've talked so much. I'm like, <laughs> as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next week for some more videos but have fun with your fall makeup. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.